Hello, and welcome to the Nuclear Safeguards Education Portal, or NCEP. My name is Kelly Ragusa, and I'm a web designer with the Nuclear Security Science and Policy Institute at Texas A&M University, and developer for the NCEP portal. NCEP is a publicly available resource aimed at providing education and outreach to those who are interested in enhancing the security of nuclear materials and facilities. The course modules in NCEP provide a basic introduction to topics crucial to understanding nuclear safeguards. There are two types of modules in NCEP, reference modules and course modules. The reference modules provide definitions and references for technical safeguards terminology and brief discussions of safeguards treaties and legal issues. The course modules are short courses in safeguards topics. The course modules provided here are intended to take from one to three hours for a student to complete. They consist of reading materials, videos, links to additional resources, and self-assessments. Students can complete the modules at their own pace course learning objectives and prerequisites are clearly stated in the introduction to each course module. To complete the assessments, users will need to register to create a login name and password. The register option is located in the maroon tab at the top right hand side of the screen. Registration is free and allows you to track your progress through the modules. Your information is only used for internal analytics or if you are taking NCEP courses as part of a course at a university or national laboratory to confirm completion of modules to course instructors. If you have any issues creating user accounts or logging on to NCEP, you can contact me using the webmaster link at the bottom of the screen. When you register, you will be able to track your progress through the NCEP courses on your transcript and even print certificates of completion for NCEP courses. You will log in using the login option also located in the maroon tab. Once logged in, you will see your login name in the tab and the account options will be available in a drop down menu from that tab. From here, you will be able to see your transcript and print certificates for completed NCEP courses. As you begin a course module, you will notice that each module is divided into chapters, and in some cases, subchapters, which are accessible through the navigation bar to the left of the course content. The navigation bar reproduces an outline of the course. To page through the course, use the Next Page link at the bottom of each page, as each chapter or subchapter listed in the navigation may contain more than one page. If you are viewing NCEP from a mobile device, the navigation bar will be shown at the bottom of the screen after the course content. You will notice throughout the course that certain words in the text are underlined. This indicates that the term is linked to an entry either in Wikipedia or in one of our reference modules. All of these references will appear in a tab or window separate from the actual course. Highlighted text with a photo icon indicates that rolling over the text with your cursor will change the main image to a new image. The videos in NCEP are available in several different formats. All videos will have a larger format version and a YouTube version. The larger format videos are only available for flash-enabled devices and will not work on iPads or iPhones. So you will not see the option of larger format videos if you are using one of these devices. The YouTube videos should be compatible with most devices. Some videos may have the option of viewing either closed caption versions of the videos or video transcripts. Again, we hope that you find the information in NCEP useful. 
and if you have any questions or concerns, do not hesitate to contact me using the webmaster email link in the footer at the bottom of the screen, or the leave a comment link found in the main site links. Thanks, and enjoy your course.